Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 10 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of season 8 you could put challenges as your party assist so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, Use an airstrike in different matches and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, damage opponents with shotguns and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, search 7 ammo boxes in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, visit different public service announcement signs in Neo Tilted, Pressure Plant, or Mega Mall and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, collect wood from a pirate ship or viking ship and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of three for the fifth challenge is, collect stone from a fork knife or umbrella and is worth two battle stars or 200 XP. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, collect metal from a robot factory. The sixth challenge is, eliminate opponents in Pleasant Park or Paradise Palms and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, damage opponents with a pickaxe and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is, use an air strike in different matches and if you do this in 3 different matches you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. If you go into team rumble you will notice that lots of supply drops spawn. If you go up to then and open it, you will have a very good chance to get the air strike. The second challenge is, damage opponents with shotguns and if you deal 500 damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Common, uncommon, and rare tactical shotgun. Rare, epic, and legendary combat shotgun. Uncommon and Rare Pump Shotgun Common, Uncommon, and Rare Drum Shotgun When you come across a shotgun, simply just pick it up and try to use it as much as possible which you should be doing when playing the game normally anyway. The third challenge is, search 7 ammo boxes in a single match and if you do this all in a single match you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. If you land at Neo Tilted on the building southwest of Neo Tilted you can usually find plenty of ammo boxes. Once you have searched the first building and still don't have enough, simply go to the building right next to it and collect any more you need to. The fourth challenge is, visit different public service announcement signs in Neo Tilted, Pressure Plant, or Mega Mall and if you visit 5 different public service announcement signs you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Mega Mall does have the most so you should land at Mega Mall. The locations of the signs in Mega Mall are in the following images. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, Collect wood from a pirate ship or viking ship and if you collect 100 wood you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. 
the pirate ship is the one at Lazy Lagoon so if the battle bus passes over that one, go there as it does have more wood to get from it. If you want to go to the Viking ship, it is on the Viking hill. The second stage for the fifth challenge is, collect stone from a fork knife or umbrella and if you collect 100 stone you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. The fork knife is near fatal fields. Simply land there and mine all the stone. Once again if you are on the other side of the map, go to the umbrella which is to the north of Loot Lake. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, collect metal from a robot factory and if you collect 100 metal you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The location of the robot factory is the area where the robot is being built in pressure plant. The sixth challenge is, eliminate opponents in Pleasant Park or Paradise Palms and if you eliminate 3 opponents you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. Land at whichever location is closer to the battle bus as that place is most likely going to have more players giving you more chances to kill. However with many people landing there it might mean that you are dying quite a lot so if that's the case, go to the location furthest away from the battle bus. This will still have quite a lot of people. The final challenge for week 10 is, damage opponents with a pickaxe and if you deal 200 damage you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You could try to find an AFK person that has been kicked out of the battle bus and just standing at the last location the battle bus was. If you come across someone there, hit them with your pickaxe. Or when getting into close range fights and if you're not taking game seriously, you could try to hit them with your pickaxe. They'll probably win if they are using guns but you might be able to get a couple of hits. You could also follow someone out the bus and land on them and try to hit them. And that is all the challenges for week 10. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.